Homologous structures are structures that share a common ancestry. That is, a similar structure in two organisms can be found in the common ancestor of the organisms. So they say the penguin, alligator, bat, and human all evolved from a common vertebrate ancestor because they have similar bones in their forelimbs. Well, kind of. We see homologous structures and evolution is the best explanation for them. There are lots of things that make us think that animals share ancestry and this is one of them. So, imagine the job evolutionists have. They must take the entire animal kingdom and try to determine which creatures evolved from others. No, no we don't. At least, we don't have to in order to show that they did evolve. We don't need to trace the exact ancestry in order to have evidence that animals share common ancestry. Sometimes we see structures with similar functions in creatures that don't come from a supposed common ancestor. Well, how do we know that? Could it be that scientists are able to tell if a structure is homologous based on key criteria? Got an example? I do. A human and a squid eye. What? Both humans and squid have a lens that projects an image onto a retina. But that's pretty much all they have in common. They're only similar superficially. The nerve fibers are facing a different way, creating a blind spot in our eyes, but not in cephalopods. The eyes are focused via different mechanisms, and cephalopods lack a cornea. These things, among others, indicate that these structures are analogous and not homologous, since homologous structures are similar anatomically while mammal and cephalopod eyes are not. The problem is that evolutionary theory holds that the closest ancestor to both didn't have eyes, but only a patch of light-sensitive skin cells. That means that a very similar eye had to evolve twice, completely independent from each other. They call this convergent evolution and believe that the same process of random mutations happening over millions of years built similar structures. No way! An eye is so amazing, it seems impossible that it could have evolved in the first place. But now they believe it happened twice? Yep, that would be impossible. Times two. Or maybe not. Maybe it's not impossible at all and you just completely misunderstand evolutionary thought, which is a big surprise, I know. But our ancestors that formed eyes were in the exact same environment and they had the exact same potential to form the eyes. So they had the same selective pressures to do so and they shared the process in which they were formed. Again, there have been many people who have explained the evolution of the eye and how it worked. Uh, to put it simply, the more curved that these patches of light-sensitive skin cells were, the better they were able to sense the direction of light. So every time that the eye got more curved, even to the point where it's basically a pinhole camera, it was beneficial every step of the way. Are there other examples of similar looking organs that don't fit evolutionary trees? It's not that they don't fit in the evolutionary tree, it's that they don't follow along the same branch. These similar looking structures are just that, similar looking. These similarities are only superficial. This makes them analogous, meaning superficially similar, but not anatomically. If they were homologous, they would be anatomically similar, whether they were superficially similar or not. Analogous structures form in different ways, but in the same environment and with the same selective pressures. They share the process in which complex mechanisms are formed. Think about flight. Man, with all his intelligence, just figured out how to fly less than 200 years ago. But flight supposedly evolved at least four different times. Birds, insects, mammals, you know, like bats, and reptilian flight, like pterodactyls. First of all, birds evolved from flying dinosaurs, so they didn't evolve separately. Secondly, these animals had the same selective pressures and potential to form wings. But when you look at these structures anatomically, they are evidently not homologous. It's not like this disproves evolution. It's not like we can't tell the difference between the two. Sure, they all have wings. But they all have very different wings. Now that makes it four times impossible. Or maybe it's completely possible and you're just assigning pseudoscientific possibilities on top of it to fit your narrative. Maybe there's a reason that only creationists are spouting complexity and no one else takes it seriously. So, going back to the human and squid eye, would they be called homologous structures since they look similar? Nope. When similar structures are found on creatures that aren't considered closely related, 
They're called convergent. So they evolved completely independent from each other? Yeah. No, they evolved in the same environment, with the same selective pressures and the same potential. Evolution supposedly built the same basic organ more than one time, but it sounds more like a rescuing device, you know, like a make-believe story than a scientific concept. To you, creationists, to you. Because you're looking at it that way. It's difficult for you to understand it because you refuse to understand it. But what if I told you that the genetics of cattle changing based on what kind of sticks they made it in front of was a made-up story and not actual historical record? So how do you know the difference between when similar structures are homologous and when they're analogous? I'm not sure. Then look it up. Analogous structures are superficially similar, but anatomically different. Homologous structures are anatomically similar. This could easily be remedied by decent education. But how can anyone be sure that structures actually shared a common ancestry? Many, many years of comparative anatomy and fossil record should do the trick. Especially in the hands of people who have been educated in such fields and do actual research. When similarities fit evolution, there are homologous structures. But when they don't fit, they claim the structure evolved more than once? No, they all fit evolution. They just aren't always from the same place. There's good explanation for it, but you can't be bothered to look it up or actually understand it for what it is. Wow, that's circular reasoning. How so? Their evolutionary theory decides what is homologous, and then they say homologous structures prove evolution. Hey, that's right. That's really messed up. Just because you don't understand the difference between homologous and analogous structures does not mean that we made it up arbitrarily. There's actual evidence for the difference between the two. And evolution is still the best explanation that we have for the facts. So how do creationists explain similar structures? Well, that's easy. God done it. I do a southern accent for the stupid voice because I'm from the south and that's really all I know how to do. So, uh, don't kill me.